Uh, welcome, everyone. Um, still a couple of people uh, coming in, but uh, we'll, we'll get started here uh, with the uh, Kubeflow Summit in uh, Colo from KubeCon Europe in Paris. Uh, so first of all, thank you a lot for our diamond sponsor, uh, Red Hat. Uh, it's really important to keep these events going. And similarly, we would like to thank also Canonical, uh, our gold sponsor. So thank you very much. Uh, I will give an introduction very briefly about the Kubeflow project. And I'll go through some, some items for, for the event. Uh, but I will be very brief and pass it quickly to, to, to the people presenting. So my name is Ricardo. I'm a computing engineer at CERN. I'm also a, a member of the Technical Oversight Committee at the CNCF and the End User Technical Advisory Board. Um, just out of uh, curiosity, at CERN we actually have been using Kubeflow for a couple of years. Uh, uh, one of the big uh, moments for us has been the, the um, donation of Kubeflow as a project to the CNCF. I'm sure if you're in this session, you're aware of this, but uh, since July last year, uh, Kubeflow joined the CNCF uh, as an incubation project, and it has been progressing in its uh, maturity journey, uh, eventually applying, will, will apply to graduation as well. There's a couple of steps to be done. If you're interested on uh, what this involves uh, regarding the CNCF and projects moving level levels, I'm more than happy to discuss this as well with you. Uh, just very quickly, uh, so this is the, what Kubeflow is about. It's a bunch, bunch of build, building blocks uh, where you can, uh, w which you can work with uh, to build your, your uh, ML, MLOps stack. Uh, there are things that are probably not interesting for, for your particular use cases, but if they're there, it's because someone else uh, has an interest on, the, on that. And this is one of the key things of Kubeflow. It's, uh, it's uh, trying to get things to work together properly and not necessarily inventing a full, a full, something fully uh, new or, or from scratch. Uh, for, for us, and we are interested in things like integrating resources we have on premises. For most users, it will be more about integrating with uh, public cloud providers as well. So all of this uh, gives a really nice uh, set of tools to work with to build your uh, MLOP stack. Uh, the Kubeflow project is uh, a lot uh, about the community. So this is something to highlight here, and Amber will have a lot more to say about it as well. Uh, but if you're interested in collaborating, and it doesn't matter if you have time to, to, to help as a maintainer, even to help as an end user and provide feedback and uh, uh, participate in, in the service that, that, will, that are being organized, all of this is really important to, to, to make the project grow. So whatever you're interested on, uh, feel free to join the working groups. And then you have all the discussion channels for the different areas, uh, which I'm sure a lot of you are already um, uh, participating on. The QR code in the, in the middle should give you um, a link to the, to the community website. So there, there have been previous Kubeflow summits. Uh, the first one was in October 2019. Then there was a kind of a break during COVID. Uh, October 2022, there was another one, and last year as well. Uh, and now we have this one, which is co-located with KubeCon. And today, we'll have a quite extensive, extensive set of talks. So the first one will be right after from my colleagues from CERN. Uh, but we'll cover a lot, bit, uh, a lot of different areas. You will have uh, reports from the end users, but you will have reports also more from the infrastructure side. And hopefully, this will be a nice mix to, to keep us uh, uh, interested and trigger some discussion as well. Uh, some reminders just before we kick things off. Um, reminders for the code of conduct. Uh, so there's the golden rule, treat, uh, treat others as you would like to be treated. Uh, if you want more information about this, there's the QR code as well. There is a possibility of having captioning and translation. So if you're interested, again, for this session, you have the QR code and you can go through it to, to get uh, access to this. And there were refreshing and meals just behind. Uh, this is a reminder, but I'm guessing that if you got to this room, you pass through it uh, and it's not hard to, to find. But a quick reminder that we will have the collocated co event reception tonight uh, from 5.30 to 7. 
p.m. downstairs at level 7-1. So please join. We can continue the discussion from, from this afternoon also in the evening. Uh, there are possibility of also branching from, from these uh, sessions. If there's anything in particular you would like to, to continue discussing with the speakers or even uh, with other attendees, uh, join in. And the last bit before I give uh, Amber uh, some time for additional information, uh, she told me to make sure you're staying until the end. There will be some exciting announcements about, about the project and uh, she will take care of it. I'll pass to Amber now. As Ricardo said, thank you so much for joining us today. And again, thank you to our sponsors, Canonical and Red Hat. Um, we also want to take the time, there's so many of you here that are interested in Keyflow, and as Ricardo said, um, we are looking for more contributors, not just code contributors, but all the other pieces that go along with that. Um, so if you're interested, we are looking at growing the community where we need more folks to come in and help us. As mentioned, we are now in between incubation, working toward graduation, so that checklist is extensive. If you've been through that badging process, um, we're working on that. We're also working on the security piece of it. Um, as most of you know, um, up until last year, security wasn't a formal group uh, part of Q uh, the Kubeflow project it is now. So if you're a security professional and you're interested in Kubeflow, we really want to talk to you. We need more of you to help us get through that, to harden um, Kubeflow as a project at the project level, not waiting for our downstream folks to fix CVEs and push them back upstream because they might fix them for their customers, but they don't necessarily get pushed back upstream in a timely manner. So we're looking at making sure the upstream project um, puts out a secure release, as secure as we can. So that is um, an appeal to you all sitting here today. If you are a security professional and interested in Kubeflow, please come join that. Um, talk to us about that because we do need your expertise um, on that front. As um, also mentioned, please stay tuned till the end because we do have some exciting new additions to the project that we're going to go over um, at the end of the day. So we want you all to know about that um, as well. For those who are speaking, um, I haven't had a chance to touch base with all of you yet, but um, as you come up here, remember to take your badges off so your badge doesn't hit the mic, or if you're like me and you walk around and you talk with your hands, you're not constantly hitting it at, as well. Um, there are restrooms located outside this door um, up on the next uh, level, so there is that. And um, we do encourage, um, you know, to live I don't know what it's called now, tweet, X, whatever, or LinkedIn or whatever your social networks are, please share um, that you're here so we can gain more interest um, in the project and, and we can grow it. It sort of stalled for a little while, but now that we're part of the CNCF, we really wanna see that growth continue and we want you to be part of that success. Um, and and you know, there's some growing pains. And so we want to eliminate the growing pains as much as possible, but Every one of you are important and your opinions and your thoughts are important. At the back of the room, there's a survey. If you could scan the QR code and take just a few minutes to fill out that survey so that you can help us improve the project, that would be great as well. Um, and I think that that's it for now. Um, how many more minutes do we have for this? Do we have a few more? Are we at time now? So we'll get our next speaker ready and we'll, we'll kick this off. So thank you so much.